what's going on? I'm uh, Eric Hillman, aka Cousin Eric, and I'm here uh, with the band Peppers Rigs right here. I got uh, Brett and Kaleo's Rigs, and we're gonna go through piece by piece and kind of show you guys uh, what, what we're working with and how they get the sounds they do on tour. This is our actual tour rig set up here in their studio. Got a workbox here with some goodies on top. We're gonna kind of go through. Uh, we're using Kemper amps, everything lined up in the rack, Sennheiser Wireless, and uh, like I said, we'll go through this a little bit more. Got Guitar World right here, and. Uh, Let's do it. We'll show you how to do it corner style. Yep. Yeah, that's the shot, babe. Cause this thing just looks so cool, you know. It's uh, it doesn't just look cool. It sounds cool. All right. This is one of Cleo's main guitars out of out of the two that we take on the road currently, soon to be three. Uh, I believe this was a 1962 reissue, um, which has been completely weathered and completely played and worn. Completely. It was charged off as a custom shop, and it still is. Although, uh, for the most part, most of these necks have been swapped. The guts are Seymour Duncan replacements, 19, or the 50s uh, pit guard that comes prefab that is perfect for us, and they actually have another one out to us on the way, and uh, we love it. It's perfect. Um, and then I'll go through the brown guitar, and we'll, uh, we'll restring these and get you some sounds. And another one of Cleo's main Stratocasters. This puppy started off as a custom shop. And uh, since then, we've had the neck replaced and pretty much have gone from just this base body and rebuilt from the ground up. We've swapped bridges. We've swapped pickups a number of times. Uh, we're going to throw some strings on this puppy to get it shining brand new. And we're going to put it through the rig so you guys can hear what it'll sound like when it's all done. When you cut the depth, oh. Cleo uses tens pretty much as long as it's a green slinky pack tens we'll give it a shot we've used uh, stainless steel we've used a number of things so um, these are the, the current flavor we're gonna throw them on and cue the thrun, 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 thrun. so i was using dunlop custom max grip 0.88s all right so we're ready to uh, get our guitar strap on. We'll do the old Chuck Norris power move. <coughs> and that, you know, allows it to uh, move freely. I don't have to worry about it falling, right? Where if you just went through the hole, it's a constant worry. So if we need to throw this puppy around, we can. Or if I just want to kind of walk and slide it around Kaleo's neck, you know, we can do anything we want. I feel a little more confident. Input cable, same. Right in there. If I could see it. And you got yourself a live guitar. As soon as you come over here and turn this to operate mode, and we're ready to roll. Let's go through this guitar a little bit and the uh, rig. Kaleo's down here. And essentially what we're going to do, we'll go through the signal flow. You got a guitar pick. That hits the string. When the volume knobs up, it sends the signal out here accordingly, right through this cable to this magic little wireless pack, which has an antenna, which sends it to the receiving antenna of Kaleo's wireless rig, which is this one. And he is on input two, which is the brown guitar. That's if I want to switch guitars for him real quick in a hurry. He's going to be coming over there when I hit this pick action. You literally see that jump up. That's how we know signal's going through. This is how we know which guitar it's coming from. After this unit, straight into the amp, which can take you anywhere. We can literally get any sound we want out of it, and these are the ones we have chosen. All right, so normally, um, knobs all the way up. He usually likes in the third spot, which is this pickup by itself. Um, he'll move around from time to time, but for the most part, we'll start the show. I'll hand it to him right there, because that's kind of where he's ready to go from. And a lot of the sounds will be on that one. This is his clean, which we profiled a PB Tweed PB Classic Tweed amp, which has had a really nice, clean sound, and uh, this is kind of what he's getting from it. So, uh, you know, a clean sound on channel one would be, you know, might be something for, uh, let's see if I can do it. there 
Uh, there is a hint, a hint of delay. No, it's just such a thick reverb that it kind of gives you an illusion of an echo. Pretty classic Marshall sound, honestly. I mean, that is just a, a dry, clean signal on this one particularly, but man, this our cab sure does shape a lot of the... Uh, If you're in the room, you, you know what I'm talking about. Going into number two, uh, it's a silver tone amp that was profiled internally, I believe, and uh, it's got a little more reverb on it, and it's also got a little bit of a delay. You know, maybe a little dubby. thick reggae dub uh, reverb on there moving into the third spot with twitch this is one of my favorite this has been our uh, our go-to sound for years now he's had this this was our originally our mesa boogie triple rec channel two and so when we got the profilers which are these amplifiers uh we we mic'd it up and we did the deal and we sent that sound into here that's what these essentially do you know it's an amplifier computer it's so much in one but uh the cool thing is you can take any amplifier, right, that you're using, Marshall, whatever you want, say, I love the sound, now I want it in here. So you run a microphone into here, you mic the sound of the, of the amp that you're using, this takes a second, then it says play a couple chords, you play a couple chords, it's like, okay, cool, give us a second. And then you back off your guitar, and it sends a weird couple signals through your amp, and gets kind of the highs and lows of what it can do, and the next thing you know, it says, okay, great, save. Save as... And we saved it as KW Channel 2. We've got this Channel 2 on the Mesa, and it sounds like this. huge staple of just the pepper sound it's 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 that yellow channel of that mesa and uh that's still what we're using in here we love you mesa we might not take the mesa on the road but we still take the mesa on the road uh channel four is a moderation of that which kaleo added i think maybe just a little bit more fur actually this this is channel two still with a little more fuzz to make it simulate what our channel three used to do but like i said we like channel two a little bit more on the mesa so we basically beef that up with the magic of the amp, so it's going to be kind of the same. Uh <laughs> spot um, I don't think we were actually using that I think we just kind of put one in there in case we wanted to modify it or actually no I'm sorry I take that back we did add it on there with a little delay so it's gonna be kind of the same thing as four tone wise you see it's got a little delay on it and that's you know for a lead work and it's just in the middle of a song and it gives you one of these big uh, stabs it's gonna have a little slight delay you'll, you'll recognize the sound especially if you, you know from a show sputters away and, and you know he use it however it is. it's just to kind of add a little you know delay is always kind of a godlike feeling you know for a guitar player or for an audience so we just kind of subtly have it in there and uh, when he wants to throw it on he, maybe you'll hear it from now on now that you know it's there just kind of trails with you and chord wise. <laughs> Barely notice it's there until it trails. The last thing I didn't get to is this expression pedal right here. We'll, you know, program it for certain songs, or if we're gonna have someone come out and guest jam, we might want to do a, a dub section and 
and we'll activate this. But pretty much on channel five, I think it's always ready to go. So you can kind of come over here and give it a. Like a walk away. We'll have a smoke. And he can kind of control that from there, and I'll let you figure out what he does with it during the show. All right. Well, that pretty much concludes the uh, the pimp my rig uh, pepper. Rig breakdown. Uh, it's been a blast hanging with you guys, but well, we can't wait to get back out there. I'll tell you what. So now, when you see them out there touching their pedals and uh, you know messing with switches and knobs, you can kind of know what's going on. And hey, you might even know what song's coming next. So come out, say what's up, and uh, aloha, mucho aloha. We'll see you at the shows, and we love you very much. And cousin Eric out. <laughs> <laughs>